Greetings artists. Today we are going to start on our Hilma Athlint inspired artwork. Um, so as you learned about Hilma, she was an artist that just kind of drew her feelings or emotions. She just started creating lines on her canvas and then filled those in with color. Um, she didn't really think too much about it. She just kind of let her artwork guide her. And so that is what we are going to do with this project. We are going to start by letting our artwork guide us. So on our paper, um, we are just going to take our paper and as uncomfortable as it might make some of us, we are going to start by um, drawing in Sharpie. We are just going to let our lines guide where, where they want to go. The only rule for this is that I start on one edge of my paper and I end on another edge of my paper. And I'm just going to keep drawing. I'm not going to let my Sharpie lift up from the page. So I might draw a little and then change directions. I can overlap. I could make twirls if I want, straight lines. Um, really, the guiding force here is going to be that I want my page at the end to feel weighted, but not heavy. So I want it to have a lot going on in like every direction, but I don't want it to be so busy um, that I can't focus. So again, my rule was I started on one edge of my paper and I ended on another edge of my paper. Now, the second step, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose one very simple geometric shape. So my choices are circle, oval, triangle, rectangle, or square. And I'm gonna layer that over the top of my design. So I'm personally gonna choose um, an oval. And so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna start making ovals on top of the lines that I already have. They can be different shapes and sizes. They can go different directions, but the guiding force is that they are all ovals. I don't wanna switch up my shapes. I wanna keep repeating the same shape over and over. And they could, like I said, they could be all different sizes or directions. Once I have layered mm, four or five of that same simple geometric shape, then the next step that I'm gonna do is try and integrate lines and shapes. So I'm gonna round out any place where uh, two lines might meet or intersect. So I'm gonna draw like a quarter circle that curves toward the intersection. And so I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So here I've got all these shapes that intersect so I'm just going to kind of round this out. So now instead of meeting at kind of a blunt or a jagged space, now that area is nice and smooth. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of find anywhere where things kind of meet in a jagged manner. I'm just going to kind of round those out a little bit so it's not pointy anymore. And this might take a minute. Just rounding out those shapes. There we go. So see, this should st kind of start to make sense where things are coming together at a point. Um, I'm just going to kind of fill it in so instead they're coming together nice and smooth. All right, and I'm not gonna do all of my intersections because I don't want you to spend your entire work time just watching me. I'm gonna do this one more, and then just knowing on your paper, you would go ahead and continue until you had all your intersections smoothed out, um, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna waste your time. The next thing I'm gonna do is add any additional lines, shapes, or divisions of space I feel are needed for the image to feel whole. Um, now, one thing that I noticed a lot in Hilma Athlint's work, she used a lot of spirals. And so I'm gonna use some spirals inside some of my shapes. So some of them might be smaller, like this area down here might have a smaller spiral, but then I might also go to other areas that are a little bit larger. And so these spirals might get a little bit bigger. Remembering with a spiral, when I hit a wall, I stop 
but that doesn't mean that my spiral is finished. It just means I can't see that part of the edge. So I'm just gonna repeat a spiral and maybe hmm, four or five spaces again. And then I might also go in um, after I feel that I'm all done with my spirals, like I have enough spirals on there that it's repeated, that it looks purposeful. I might go in and start adding shapes in other areas. So like I might add some circles over here and I'm just gonna kind of repeat that same shape over and over until I kind of fill up this space. So again, you're filling area with line, pattern, design by repeating shapes. And then anywhere where I don't have a circle, I am gonna go ahead and fill that in black just so it looks like I've got white circles on a black background. I think that looks really super nice. Um, anywhere that has like a long skinny area, I might come in here with some curved lines and make this look almost like op art. Like it's gonna pop off my page, like so. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat some shapes in different areas. Um, and again, not thinking too terribly much about it because I wanna just let the pen guide me. I wanna let it decide what I'm doing. Um, so I might come in here, I'm gonna add some shapes climbing up this space just to add some extra overlapping. So I'm gonna fill in, uh, I would say about a quarter of my space with some repetitive lines or shapes or designs. And then um, that is gonna be it for day one. I'm just going to fill my area in with some different patterns, lines, shapes, designs. When I feel like, again, my paper is weighted, like it has a good weight, it's balanced all the way across. So when I look at mine as an artist, since I filled in the background here, there's no other space on my paper that has anything like that. So that makes me feel like I need to come over here somewhere and I need to fill in a background um, of some sort. And so I might come over here and I might make some tall ovals. It almost looks like peas in a pod, but then I might fill in that background because I know that design-wise, that is then gonna help balance or offset this piece. Um, so really you're just looking to find when is it balanced, when does it look um, weighted but not too busy. And that's gonna be it for day one. Just drawing my line, filling, repeating shapes, so I repeated my ovals, um, repeating some shapes or designs, and then just deciding when it is finished according to me because I'm the artist. And next time we will add paint. Happy creating.